If you need to learn all about area for sixth grade, I can help. By the end of this video, you'll know how to find the area of a parallelogram, a triangle, and a trapezoid. Let's get started. All right, so first we're gonna learn about the area of a parallelogram. And as long as we have the base, so I'm gonna write down here that the area equals the base of the parallelogram, so this length right here, and then times the height, if I put BH right next to each other, it means to multiply. So as long as I have the height also, I can multiply them and get the area. So let's see an example here. So if the base is four, so we're going to be doing four times something, and the height is three, we'll just say these are inches, just so we have a unit. All right, so what is the area of this parallelogram? Okay, you got it, 12. But I wanna show you something that will help make sense of this because you know sometimes we can memorize formulas, but if we don't have some sort of a understanding of why that works, then it can be kind of tricky to keep going with that. So let me show you a different example here. So if I just make a rectangle like this, and I make the length and the width the same amounts as this parallelogram, let's see if we can make sense of this. So you know how we, we have our height right here? I like to think of it this way. So if I think of this chunk right here, this triangle shape, and I go like this, I kind of do the height over here too. Look how it's congruent, do you see that? So it's kind of like we're taking part of this parallelogram, like this part right here, and moving it over here so that it's just a simple rectangle problem. So what is the area of this rectangle? So length times width is our normal rectangle formula. Yep, four times three, and so we get 12 over here as well. All right, so let me give you another problem to practice. All right, here's your next problem. I have the formula, area equals base times height, and I gave you the base is six and five tenths, the height is four centimeters, so I want you to pause the video, see if you can find the area of this parallelogram. All right, let's check your thinking. I'm gonna do this algorithm really quick. Okay, 20, six times four is 24, plus two is 26. All right, and I have one decimal place in my factors, so one in my product. So my answer is just the area is 26 square centimeters. Okay, great job. All right, our next type of problem is gonna be finding the area of triangles. So I have an example here for you with the formula, but of course on this one also, I'm gonna be explaining why that formula works so you have a better understanding. But let's practice first. So area equals, area of a triangle equals one half base times height. So we would need a base and a height. So I'm gonna give you four, and I'm always starting you off with something kind of easy just to practice the steps, and then I can make it more challenging as we go. So we've got four inches, and the height can be three inches. Okay, so then we just need to kind of plug things into the formula. So we've got one half, and then we've got a base times a height. Okay, 
So let's start working on this. Let's start with the inside the parentheses. So what is four times three? All right, good, 12. And then what is half of, so when a number is bumped up next to a parentheses, we always multiply. So what is one half times 12 or one half of 12? Okay, you got it, six. So the area of this triangle is six square inches. Now let's try to understand why this formula works. So next I'm going to show you a rectangle that has the same dimension. So we've got four and we've got three, right? And if you think about this triangle as half of this, so let me show you. If I cut this in half, I would have that same exact triangle over here. So that's why I can, you know, the whole rectangle area is four times three, right? Length times width. And so that would be 12. But we're just wanting, I'm going to shade in what we're wanting. We're wanting half of that rectangle so that we just have this triangle amount. So that's why we can do half of the area of this rectangle. All right, let me give you another one to practice. All right, here's our next example. So I've got a triangle with a base of seven centimeters and a height of 12.3 or 12 and 3 tenths centimeters. And so let's plug that into the formula. So we've got area equals one half. I like to use parentheses here just to separate the base times height. So base times height. Okay, would you pause the video and work on this problem? All right, let's check your work kind of part way through this. So I got 86 and 1 tenth as my answer for the base times height. So 86 and 1 tenth. Okay, and then we want to know half of that. So let's check your work. I'll do the algorithm down here. So we're going to split it in half. All right, so now we have our area of 43 and 5 hundredths square centimeters. Great job. And let me show you when you have a triangle that looks like this, you can kind of think of this as half of a parallelogram in this case. So let me show you what I mean by that. If I make another triangle right here, and kind of add it on, then I can see that this is really just like half of the parallelogram area formula also because it, you know, parallelogram area is just base times height and we're just wanting half of this parallelogram. Okay, now our last shape is gonna be finding the area of a trapezoid. And the formula is one half, this means base one 
and we'll talk about that a little more in a second, plus base two. We're gonna have two different bases in this case, uh, times the height. So let's take a look at why we have two different bases. So with a trapezoid, it's kind of nice that we can cut it up into two triangles, okay? So we're gonna have a base of each of these triangles, okay? So for example, this one down here has a base of five inches, okay? And it has a height of two inches, okay? Then this other triangle over here has a base, this top uh, length right here is three inches, and it actually has the same height as the other triangle, because you can kind of think of it over here. It has a height of two inches as well, okay? So let's plug all of this into the formula to practice. So we've got one half times, we'll, we'll call the five the base one, plus this other base, okay? And then times the height, which is two. All right, so let's start with our parentheses. Five plus three is eight. Okay, then we've got one half times the height. Okay, so now let's continue. What is half of eight? Yep, you got it four. And then what is four times two? Okay, you got it, it's eight. Okay, now I just wanna explain that you could really do this two different ways. I combined everything into one formula, but you could also be doing two separate triangle formulas pretty much because you know how we cut this up into two different triangles. Okay, so you we could do one half that base one times the height and then another formula for the other triangle, so one half base two times the height, and then what would you do with those two amounts? Yeah, you would end up adding them together. So that is why we can put this into one formula because we're adding those two together all in one formula. But I think it'd be great either way. So if you prefer this formula or this one, either way, those are both good choices. All right, now I'm gonna give you another trapezoid. All right, here's your next example to practice. So I have a trapezoid with this length down here is 8.5. We've got a height of three. This length up here is four centimeters. Let's go ahead and split it up into two triangles. Okay, and now I want you to practice putting this information into the formula and solving it. Then we'll come back and check your work. Okay, let's kind of check your work along the way. Here is when I plugged everything into the formula. Now let's see if your first step is correct. So 8.5 plus four is 12.5. Okay, then it's just a matter of doing some multiplying here. So half of 12.5. So let's think of half, what's half of 12? Yep, six, what would be half of, I'm gonna put a zero on the end here so it makes it a little easier to think of. What's half of 50? You got it, 25. 
Okay, now we just need to multiply by three. I'm gonna come up here and do the, use the algorithm because I don't wanna make a mistake. Okay, 15, six, seven, six times three is 18, and then I have two decimal places, so I need two in my answer. Okay, so it looks like the area of this trapezoid is 18 and 75 hundredths square centimeters. Okay, great job. I hope this video helps you in your math class or at home. See you next time.